If you collect air miles or you watch the Olympics, or maybe you're a fan of Ben Ainsley Racing, there's a man you ought to know, this man here, Sir Keith Mills. Well, he's here today racing his own boat at Cowes. Keith, tell me about the boat. We've been out today, but it's a cracking boat. Oh, no, <coughs> we're really pleased with it. Um, it was designed uh, last autumn and built during the winter. Um, arrived here uh, in Cowes in May. Um, and we've, uh, we've taken it around the island and won our class, which is good on a first outing. But we're still getting used to it. And I think over the winter months, we'll probably do a few tweaks. But it's a, it's a fun boat, just like a big dinghy, really. Yeah, it certainly is a fun boat. I mean, it's a Grand Prix 40 foot end. You're no, I mean, people may not know, but you're no stranger to Grand Prix boats. You've had TP52s and a whole host of boats. But this really is, um, what, what took you, what drew you to a 40 footer? Well, the, the problem with the TP in the UK is there just aren't many of them. And uh, so whenever we, whenever we went out racing, we'd find just perhaps one or two to race against. Uh, most of them are down in the Med, uh, doing the, the Med series down there. Um, and there's a group of us that think that we can pull together a fleet of perhaps eight or ten 40-footers and, uh, as we're seeing this week actually, uh, get some great racing out of it. I mean, al almost match racing for the last couple of days. Yeah, it's amazing. It's incredibly close. I mean, do you think that this is a class that is actually going to grow? I mean, that's your hope, but... Yeah, well, I, I certainly hope so. There, there's been a lot of interest in this boat and a lot of potential owners that are looking at... Uh, uh, sort of buying or designing or uh, uh, developing boats like this and, and there are three or four principal designers Carl Keek and, and Jason Kerr who designed this one that have a big interest in growing the fleet so we hope so and you know they are fun they're, they're more manageable than, than the TP um, they're a bit less expensive too um, but more importantly it's just great racing mm. it's interesting I mean you've obviously been involved in as I say the Olympics, so that was a much bigger thing. But with Ben Ainsley Racing and being behind that, being one of the founders uh, of that, how important is it that you are? How how important is it that you actually race with the boat? I mean, being on the water, does that help? In yeah, well, I mean, I, I certainly understand more about what the designers and sailors talk about in meetings. Um, but uh, you know, I'm involved in the Americas Cup because uh, I love the sport of sailing, and, um, and it's about time we brought the cup back to this country. And I think Ben and the team have a a great chance to do that and myself and Charles Dunst and a whole bunch of guys that are they're all uh, really enthusiastic amateur sailors um, really want to show how Ben can do it and um, you know we've made a great start um, last weekend uh, he won uh, in Portsmouth and um, you know I think we have you know, a lot of confidence in, in both his ability and the team's ability to design build and then race a very fast boat. Now, people will also know you for uh, setting up the Invictus Games and the boats called Invictus. Is there a connection between the two? Well, I, I, when I was sort of uh, uh, commissioning this boat, I was in the middle uh, with Prince Harry of organising the Invictus Games last September. And um, uh, uh, whenever you get a new boat commissioned, you struggle to find a, a name that's appropriate. And, uh, and Invictus um, and the Invictus poem and the, and the games that we created is all about uh, giving the wounded and the sick guys uh, an opportunity to show what incredible, incredible athletes they are. And, um, and so next year I hope to get some of those guys, some of the wounded guys out on the boat. You know, hopefully Invictus will, um, uh, both uh, the, the games and the boat will uh, do well next year. Mm. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for having me on board. It's an absolutely cracking day. It's a superb boat. I wish you all the world for the rest of the week. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.